had a lot of fun playing trains with friends, hobbying, running trains, figuring out layout ideas, working through our imaginations, and just enjoying each other's company. When we left off, I had switches down. We did a little counting game. That was cool. Now we're going to lay down the rest of the yard to see if it's where we want it. See how it all looks. Ha <laughs> ha! Snap these guys right together. Probably notice every time I snap these together, I run my fingers across it. Reason I do that, it's very small and it's real easy sometimes for the track not to line up. The Kato is really good about lining up really well. I just like to make sure so I run my fingers across. If it's nice and smooth, I know it lines up good. With the end scale being so small, those little bumps make a big difference. Now that I got the second loop done, I just connect it there and I connect it there and I don't have to worry about disturbing the outer loop. A lot less flex for everything. Loop number two, done. We'll just make sure it aligns to our marks. We'll start on the next one. Now that the layout's done, laid out wise I haven't nailed anything down yet I'm looking at this and I'm thinking well that's a pretty cool yard this is pretty much where I'm going to be sitting and I started thinking maybe I want something a little more to it I have me some switches here and I was thinking well maybe if I put a 
switch right about here, I could do something over here. Uh, maybe a roundhouse or something, a turntable. Add on another little part of the table to it. I think I'm going to do that. But then I was thinking, I'm going to load trains on this thing too. So I have another switch here, and I'm thinking maybe if I put it, I don't know, right around here or so, I could do a turnout and go straight that way, a dead end, a place where I can easily go over, put a train on it, and just kind of roll it into place. I think that would work really well. Yeah. Let's see how that turns out. I went ahead and put two switches in. I like that. This gives me room to do things later on. But now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, what if I want to run a train yard? Now's the time to be thinking about that. I have an idea. I'm back. I put in these special pieces of track here on these two outside ones and I lined them up with each other make it easier to figure out where they're at and these are uh, magnetic uncoupler tracks reason for these this is very small and scale that's the main reason for it with special couplers on the train when I run over this It'll go just fine, but if I back up and I stop in the middle of it, and then I go, it automatically uncouples it. And then I just push it off the magnet, and it recouples. This way, I can run a full train yard, and I can change out trains, no problem. I have two tracks to do it on. They're up towards the front, so I can easily get to them. And I can run it like a proper train yard. This thing's getting fun and more fun and even more fun by the week. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Here's the magnet. When the trains have the special uncouplers on there, you just drive right over it. No problem. But if I back up, I stop in the middle of it, it just comes right apart. Then I just back up, I push off, it recouples, and I can operate the train yard, no problem. These are the special couplers. And that little piece of metal drags on the magnet and pulls it off to the side. Here's the train yard. I have my two turnouts. I haven't done anything with them yet. But when I nail all this down into place, I have them in place so I don't have to pull up track again. I have my uncoupler magnets put in so I can do my train yard where it's nice up front. I can see it easily and I can correct anything if it goes wrong. I think that I've taken about everything into consideration I can think of right now. And if I think of something else, well, I'll try and do that before I actually tack everything down into place. Now it occurs to me that every time you see a video, you see it either looking this way or looking this way. You never actually see the rest of Dad's train room. Well, you remember how much I was cleaning there? This is what the train room looks like the rest of the time. Ah! Pretty scary, huh? Until next time, have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. And we'll see you next week. Bye.